Hi, I'm Pollyanna. Um, I'm a trainee teacher at Kenilworth Nursery School. I love using storytelling and singing as a way of supporting children's development in communication and language, as well as early literacy. My mentor has inspired me to think creatively about how to embed engaging activities in my practice. Looking at rhyming words with the children is really important for their development in their phonics um, and it will be um, there to support their reading and their writing when they get into school. So it's really important that they start looking at things like rhyming words at the, in the early years. So the activities that I have done in my practice um, can either be done in small group sessions or what I tended to do was to take small groups out um, throughout the day um, and that way you can kind of make sure you've got everybody covered. So what I would do to start is something quite fun and it's a nice way to welcome everybody to the space. So at Kenilworth Nursery School we welcome everybody in the morning by singing a hello song which goes hello and then you would say the child's name so I'll use my name so it would be hello Polly how are you and then you'd go around the group of children but a fun way of incorporating rhyming words for the children um, and what I found the children to love is you would say your name or a child's name and then you would come up with a rhyming word as well. A nonsense word, the sillier the better. So for example, hello Polly Wally, how are you? And again, go around the circle, but coming up with nonsense rhyming words for the children's names and they absolutely love it. And then after you've done a couple, you can then encourage them to think of their own rhyming words for their own names or for another child's name. Um, and I found that they end up wanting to do it again and again and again because it's just really funny, really funny, really fun. And it's really good for getting them to come up with rhyming words that don't necessarily make sense, but they get a concept of what a rhyming word is. Um, so after we've done that and we've you know had a laugh, we've talked about what rhyming word is, they've had a go at doing some rhyming words, I um, would then read a story. Here's one that I found particularly successful in a session um, when looking at rhyming words. Now I'm going to read Shark in the Dark as if I was reading it to the children and we were looking at these rhyming words. Shark in the Dark. Just before bedtime, a certain small boy stands at the window with his favourite toy. Timothy Pope, Timothy Pope, is looking through his telescope. He looks at the sky and the moon up there. He looks left, he looks right, he looks everywhere. And this is what he sees. <gasps> Jumping jellyfish! What's that bobbing in the dark? Could it be a great white shark? <gasps> what do you think? Is it a great white shark? A shark in the dark? <gasps> a shark? No, it's not. It's the sail on a yacht. I think it was this one here. Timothy Pope, Timothy Pope, looks again through his telescope. He looks at the sky and the moon up there. He looks left, he looks right, he looks everywhere. And this is what he sees. Do we think it's a shark in the dark? Stumbling starfish! What's that swishing through the dark? Could it be a great white shark? What do we think this time? Oh, 
Tim says, silly me, it's a seagull with his tea. Look at that. Seagull's got a fish for his tea. I wonder what we'll find this time. Timothy Pope, Timothy Pope is looking through his telescope. He looks at the sky and the moon up there. Where does he look? He looks left. He looks right. He looks everywhere. And this is what he sees. <gasps> Quivering catfish. What's that lurking in the dark? Could it be a great white shark? Surely it's got to be a shark in the dark. <gasps> Don't worry, Tim. There's no need to scream. It isn't a shark. It's a giant ice cream. Tim says to his dad, I'm sure I'm right. There are no sharks in the dark tonight. <gasps> what can you see? I can see a shark in the dark. <gasps> Did you notice any other rhyming words in our shark in the dark book? I noticed a couple. Hmm, Timothy Pope. What was his favourite toy? It was a telescope. So Timothy Pope had his telescope. There's a rhyming word. What about, what's this here? It's a yacht and it says a shark. No, it's not. It's the sail on a yacht. So not and yacht are our rhyming words there. Oh, I'm gonna pick my favorite one now. This was my favorite rhyming word in the book. Hmm, what do we think it could be? The ice cream. And it rhymed with scream. There's no need to scream. It's not a shark. It's a giant ice cream. Oh, well done, everybody. Really, really good listening. I wonder if you go through the nursery today, if you can spot any rhyming words, you might see a toy cat. What might else you what else might you see that rhymed with cat? You might find a hat. Why don't you have a little look? Well done everybody. So that is one of my favourite books to read with the children when looking at rhyming words. And another thing that I've also done is um, after reading that book, um, getting the children to either create their own telescopes or just simply using their hand as a telescope. And sort of a bit like I spy, um, but instead of I spy, you spy two objects or two things that rhyme. So like I said, with a toy cat and a hat, they can get their own telescopes and pretend to be Timothy Pope and look out for different rhyming words. <laughs>